Well, if you've never taken your family to see the rail yard dogs at the Berglund Center, consider this an official recommendation. Bridget and Chase caught one of their practices and then even joined some of the players out on the ice to learn a little bit more about hockey and the fun that can be had. Take a look at this. We're at the Berglund Center watching the rail yard dogs practice, and we're gonna meet some of the players, even learn some tricks. You're gonna learn how to goalie? Yes, I'm gonna learn how to be a goalie. I've never played hockey before in my <laughs> life. I've only played football. Yeah. And, dude, I'm kinda scared to be honest with you, but if I'm going up against you, and you're the one shooting, hey now. I like my chances. Don't speak too soon, don't speak too soon. I'm gonna try to learn how to score on Chase. We'll see how this goes. And I gotta get suited up. Goalies wear a lot of stuff. Yeah. So let's do that. This is this is so much. Okay. Like the great Wayne Gretzky said, you miss a hundred percent of the shots that you don't take but you're gonna miss 100% of the shots that you try to take on me. All right, so now I'm all suited up and ready to be a goalie, and I'm gonna be taught by Brody Clays, one of the goalies for the rail yard dogs. So, tell me, what are some of the starter tips that you can give somebody who's trying to get into being a goalie in hockey? Uh, I mean, anything with hockey, you gotta learn how to skate first. So, uh, being a goalie, there's three, three main moves that you would always teach. Uh, that'd be your C cuts. So it's just where you uh, C cut, really it's you take your skate and move it in a C motion. And then uh, you would learn uh, a T push. So you open up that skate, like uh, making a T here, mm -hmm. and then you're pushing. And then uh, lastly, it would be just some simple shuffles. So when you're just in your stance, shuffling along. All right. So Chase is going to learn how to be a goalie. I'm going to learn how to score on him. Here to teach me are Dylan Hill and your defense. Yeah. And then we have Nick DeVito forward. I am. Yeah. All right, you guys, what do I have to do? I don't even have skates on, so let's just say this up front. Yes, I'm going to learn with my shoes on first so that so, I don't fall over. I but, guess to start, uh, just holding the stick the right way. Okay. So top hand, which would be your left hand, will be right at the top where the butt end is here. Like this? Just like this. Okay. Yep, perfect. All right. You're going to lower your bottom hand here, which is your right hand, just a little bit. Because I am right-handed. Yep. So this gives you the power. That allows you <laughs> to actually flex the stick through to the neck. Okay. And bend my knees. Yep. Okay. And... Oh, oh darn it. Okay. Start by hitting it, though. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's three in a row. I what don't do you know. think? Three in a row. Okay. All right, three in a row. I'm ready to take you on, Chase. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. I missed that one. <laughs> but I got the right idea. So we've already had a little bit of fun with you guys, but now tell us more. What are the rail yard dogs all about? Um, it's a professional league. Uh, it's called the SPHL. There's 11 teams in the league, and um, Roanoke's one of the 11. So if you want to get people out here and to cheer you on, to learn more, I mean, why would you say to come? What, what's fun about it? Um, well, it's hockey, right? So there's a lot of hits. It's physical. Um, there's some <laughs> fighting. A lot of people like fighting. Um, it's a lot family oriented. Uh, you can bring your whole family to the game. And yeah, it's just fun. It's a good time. All right, well, thank you so much. We appreciate the opportunity to be on the ice with you guys. They're quite intimidating. <laughs> but getting to know them, it's not as scary as it looks. So we appreciate the opportunity. Thank you for having me.